Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Don't Argue Again podcast, AFL, Free Your Dockers. I give you guys my opinions, my thoughts on all things footy related. Again, if you want a different perspective, here it is. Um, but I'm saying that I hope you guys are well. Thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So this video here is for you related. And um, I wanted to come and sort of give you guys a different approach to this. So I wanted to come and give you guys my sort of top three picks of who will have standout seasons for three O heading into next season. This is going to be old guys, you know, your veterans, maybe your guys have been there for three sort of years, four, maybe your guys who are going to just literally be debuting this season but again it's all about that sort of understanding of my opinion anyway it's all opinion based there's no right there's no wrong we just go from there all right so let's get into it so first and foremost i think um and again there's no ranking per se just three guys um michael frederick you can't go past uh freddie here um steady freddie has all the bags has all the tricks has all the the tools to be a a good um <coughs> has all the bags, has all the tools to be a good forward mid. Um, it's what he plays. He's fast. He's zippy. We we saw brilliances of it. We saw glimpses of it um, last season. Again, unfortunately, injury. But in saying that he comes back strong, he's looking a lot fitter now. I expect uh, Freddie, um, Michael Frederick to uh, be one of the guys that leads from the forefront. I do expect his game to elevate. Um, and, and again, just, just that amazing journey of being picked, what, 60 whatever it was it was 2019 but just a late draft pick and for him to come back and just settle in so well at, at Frio and and I think I do see him playing for us for quite some time so for me personally uh, Michael Frederick is someone to watch heading into next season another player I picked as well I think is going to be um, Andy Brayshaw I think Brayshaw is going to elevate his game I get it you know he, he sort of plays well every year but I think this year here in particular, he's going to show why. And he's going to crack that that team. I think he's going to make All-Australian. That's a bold prediction there. But I think he is. Um, uh, his, 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 his leadership, without being a leader, the captain, is so strong. The way he carries himself as a player, he's so well-spoken. But it's all the on-field um, stuff that he displays. The kicking, the, the handballing, the... The, the marking, everything he does, I think, is, is just so well, contributes so well to Frio and their forward pressure, even defensively as well. But I think um, he is going to elevate his game even more so, and I think he's going to just be a good player that Fremantle will definitely need heading into next season. So for, so for me, Andy Brayshaw. And that leaves the last person there. And look, this one here is pretty tough. Um, and my last pick, this is going to be controversial, but I did say it could be anyone. It could be the oldies, the young ones. But I'm going to go with um, Jai Omis here. And I'm not saying we're going to see him play. I'm just saying that if he plays, I think his impact is going to be good. He's going to be, he's going to, he's going to show us something. He's going to show, show us a few things, I think. Jai Omis, in my, in, in my opinion, as I call him, Mr. Never Miss, Jai Never Miss, is going to be a brilliant player. And I think will utilize his time at Frio. You know, his young rookie contract, should I say, very well. Um, I think he's going to produce. And when he does play, for me personally, I see him being a big player. Like I said, it's going to be controversial, this take, because obviously he hasn't played. But like I said, it's my own opinion. Sure, I could give it to Sean Darcy. I could give it to Sarong. I could even give it to Liam Henry. I could even go to the man himself, Nat Fife. But I thought, hey, let's change it up. So here we go. Those are my three guys. Michael Frederick, Andrew Brayshaw, and Jai Amis as my three picks and again granted like i said it's all opinion based i could be very wrong i don't think i will be but i could be but i said that we'll never know but uh those are my thoughts there but again guys don't forget to like share subscribe there'll be more free news coming in the meantime we'll just roll keep doing what we do take it easy see you guys next time and uh, just remember don't argue